Right then, in this step we're going to talk about the interface that you can see on screen and what all the different windows and tabs and things are for. So let's get straight into that. Okay, so the name for this entire screen is the level editor. So this is the main editor that you'll use to construct your levels. It's where you'll create the space for the gameplay to take place uh, and you can add different types of assets uh, which are known as actors in Unreal and that'll help you to create your environment. So up here you've got the tab bar and the menu bar. Within the level editor a tab at the top of the screen displays the name of the level that you're working on. You can also dock additional windows here to help keep your workspace organised. Uh, to the far right of the tab bar you can see the name of your project that you're currently working on. The menu bar is just below the tab bar on the left of the screen and your options here are file, edit, window and help. Just below that you've got the toolbar and the toolbar section provides quick access to a range of commonly used commands and tools. The big window with the level in it is called the viewport and that section is made up of one or more panels which display the game environment that you're working on. You can choose from a perspective view or one of three orthographic views so like top, side or front. Okay, over here you've got a very important panel. This is called the details panel. And this contains and displays information about all of the actors in your level. Editable properties are also displayed here and these can be changed within the details panel. On the left side of the screen here, you've got the modes panel. And what this is, is a range of tools known as modes that you can use within the engine. So each mode, when you put it into a mode, changes the way the level editor functions and it helps you to perform a specific task. So these tasks could include placing actors or adding foliage or creating terrain or adding post-processing effects. Okay, over here in the top corner, you've got the world outliner. Uh, and in this part of the interface, you'll just find a list of all the actors that you've got within your level. Um, they're displayed in a hierarchy if you want to use it so that you can easily see any relationships between them. Another really important panel is the content browser. Uh, and this is really important because it's used for creating, importing and organising assets within the engine. You can search for and interact with all of the different types of assets to perform actions such as renaming, duplicating and moving. Make sure you get comfortable with this panel. Okay, so that concludes our quick tour of the Unreal Engine interface. In the next video, we are going to look at creating and saving levels. So I will see you in the next step for that. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your learning further, I recommend an introduction to Unreal Engine 4 by Andrew Sanders and Unreal Engine 4 Game Development Essentials by Satish PV. Check them out using the links in the video description below. Special thanks to my awesome patrons whose names are displayed on screen for supporting this video. If you'd also like to support my channel then go to patreon.com forward slash Shane Whittington.